is using windows firewall gui okay go to your windows search and type windows firewall you get two options select the one with advanced security click on the arrow and click run as administrator now here all the options come up there are inbound rules outbound rules select on click on inbound rules you get a list of all the rules on the right side you see new rule just click on it now here you have got many options you have got program port and there are many predefined options all the port numbers are predefined for these set of values like file and print sharing and then you have, you have got remote desktop all those kind of stuff okay now we'll click port go next and here you have got the protocol option tcp or udp and then you can specify the number of ports for this example we'll take 445 for smb and also 902 for vmware v center port click next allow the connection there are two types either you allow the connection or you block the connection we'll select allow and then click next now you can uh, define whether it is a domain joint pc then you can add it as a domain profile private profile or a public profile click next give a name we will give allow smb uh, vmware and then the direction inbound and then click finish now you see the rule is available here you can disable the rule before that Okay, now there is another way of doing it using windows powershell isc go to your windows search type powershell select the isc option powershell isc and run as administrator now here i have given a code in the description copy and paste the code here go the code is already there this code gives you option to enter rule name the port number the protocol the direction allow or deny inbound or outbound all the options are available just run the code okay now as you see below enter the rule name let's give it test rule 445 and then it will ask for the port number 445 for SMB press enter and now it will give you a graphical option to select either TCP or UDP the protocol I'll select TCP the direction of the traffic inbound or outbound I'll select outbound inbound and then allow or deny whether you allow the traffic I'll select allow and now you can see your port is created with all the options that we have selected to verify this, let's go back to Windows PowerShell uh, Firewall with Advanced Security. Open it. Let's select the classical option. Run as admin. It gives us the classical option. The one we saw here with inbound and, inbound and outbound rules. Select inbound. And now you remember I gave the name test. So let's go to D. Yeah, we have our rule available there. Test rule 445. Now, if you go to properties, we can see allow the connection is there because we selected allow, and then the port number 445 and the protocol TCP is there. Okay, before that, I'll just disable because I already have it somewhere. Disable and then delete. Okay, thanks.